Welcome to today's 10 minute full body workout. I hope you're fit and ready to get your whole body work in just 10 minutes. Today is day 36 of 50 and that means we are paying tribute to the 36 chambers of the Shaolin and doing a Shaolin style full body workout. That means a lot of static holds and uh, so we're gonna start with horse stance and as my old Kung Fu trainer always said that if you complain about horse stance it looks like you need more horse stance. Fabulous. Motor. Then we're gonna do fingers and then we are going to do three where we just a bit like horse stands we stand low and keep our hands in front of us to work the shoulders just like that sounds easy probably is let's see and then one round of L sit just there L sit bam legs out moving them a bit bop, 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 get the abs working and then one round of bridge and then we're gonna do it all over again for the full 10 minute experience. So get ready, we're gonna start in a couple seconds. And go, so 90 degrees, go low, straight back, hands, pull your fists under your shoulders, extend your chest, raise your core, tuck your chin, and stay like this. Push your knees, out so your knees are pointing towards your toes and keep your core activated and then enjoy the horse stance if it starts burning enjoy the burning sensation you're in a tradition of like 2000 years of Shaolin students getting tortured like this in Kung Fu it's fabulous love it Feel the energy flowing through you and get going. Stay low and activate it. Up, fingers out and open and close them as quickly as you can and always all the way open, all the way close. So close your fist and then fully extend your fingers again. Don't move in your elbows, it's just your fingers, nothing else. And brace your core, extend your chest, tuck your chin, breathe the air of victory and keep moving. Stay concentrated, stay focused. Pam, 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 pam. Uh, soon the next and fully extend your arms in front of you right fully extend them no bend at all just fully extend them keep them forward keep them up shoulder width dance a bit low arms forward like as you would be hugging a big tree you can imagine that you were hugging a big tree and keep on breathing Now fully concentrate on your posture. This is an exercise for posture, a bit for shoulder endurance, but mostly for, for posture. So keep upright posture, raise your chest, raise your heart up, raise your core, tuck your chin, enjoy the energy flowing through your body, through your head to your toes and up again from the floor to your legs, to your center. Feel the energy flowing all the way through your body. And L sit. So sit down, feet forward, keep them off the floor. And relax, just relax. Maybe swim a bit. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Legs straight. Straighten them all the way to your toes. <laughs> Up. And down again. And now crisscross. And keep moving. That's the last one, bridge. Okay. Straighten your legs all the way, keep on breathing and 
relax. Now bridge, feet close, tuck your head and up. You can place your hands next to your head to stabilize. Move your hip up to the ceiling and your head down. Shrug your shoulders up to your head for added stability and breathe. You can imagine that you are a stable bridge. You're a bridge made out of stone, so stable, immovable object. You just stand there, so relaxing. And move your hip up. The strength is coming from your hip, from your buttocks. Not your quads, your butt, your hip, your center. And horse stance again. So bam bam boom, low. Up. Fists in. Your thighs are floor parallel, horizontal. Tuck your fists under your armpits. Lower your shoulder, extend your chest. Tuck your chin, raise your core. A bit like a horse rider, but only a bit like a horse rider. You have to imagine they were, they were yet <laughs> figuring out how to actually ride horses back then. <laughs> so uh, don't mind them, <laughs> they didn't have a lot of experience. So that's, that's what just horse stands. Or maybe they were imagining that horses actually stand like this. I have no idea. So stand like this. It's the horse stand. It's from horse, not from the other word with similar sound. And fingers. <sighs> Let's do the horse dance. And then we all start dancing. No, it's, it's the stance of the horse. <laughs> that kind of things that, cow that ironically cowboys are on. So now all the way open, all the way close your fingers and just enjoy. Keep your fingers in motion. Keep your arms straight. Straighten them in front of you. Put them forward as much as you can and breathe and breathe and breathe and move and move and move open the palms open the fingers all the way and close them again all the way and it's only finger strength nothing else and tree tree hugging you can also imagine that you're hugging a huge sumo wrestler and trying to lift him off the floor but hugging a tree helps Especially if you imagine that you can kind of rest your arms on the tree you're hugging. And thinking about the relaxation of the muscles actually improves your posture, your stability, your structure. Remove all unnecessary tension out of your body. You can imagine energy flowing through your body. To relieve any kind of unnecessary tension in your muscles. You can imagine that like yeah, you can call it chi or whatever is moving through your body. With every breath that you take. And when you're in a in a position that's that's hard to train, it takes a lot of force. Just try to relax and try to maintain the same position and use as little force as possible. Just relax. And that will naturally, in an easy way, help you to activate your muscles in a more economic way. It's a fabulous exercise. So that's why, that's one reason why um, in Shaolin Kung Fu and in all styles of Kung Fu, there's a lot of work done where you do a lot of repetitions or the same position for a long period of time to help you learn do it in a 
more economic way, also known as making you stronger. But then instead of building huge muscles, you just improve the functionality of the muscles that you already have. Right? Because yeah, yeah, there's there's no replacement for displacement. So bigger muscles are, are kind of better for strength. But the amount of strength that you can put out of a small body is, is ridiculously much more than most people would assume. That's why my favorite weightlifter is Naim Sulaimanoglu, the pocket Hercules they called him. And he, he's a short guy, like less than 5 feet and uh, less than 60 kilograms, that's like 135 pounds something. And he was able to lift from the floor over his head, like clean and jerk, all the way, all the way over the top. 200 kilograms it's, it's insane it's absolutely insane oh we're done Ooh -wee. Ah. and relax ah. i hope you feel very strong now it is very good did fabulous today breathe the air of victory feel the strength of your body wow i hope you feel that good energy flowing through you now so proud of you. See you tomorrow.